Good morning, Joe. No, Mia. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, everybody. We are late today. We are, what time is it? Where's my clock? Well, about, about, about 45 minutes late. We came from the Simbanga Bay, so. Okay, but today, 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 we have a very, very beautiful um, gospel uh, reading. A very beautiful gospel reading. It has to do with the canticle of Our Lady, the song of Our Lady, the beautiful song of the Magnificat, her beautiful prayer, which she um, she belted out uh, after Elizabeth gave thanks for her visit and praised her for being uh, a an obedient um, daughter of God. So let's read that Magnificat. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm." and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. So in this canticle, in this song of praise, canticle is like a song of praise of Our Lady. Uh, Our Lady celebrates the greatness of God. That's what this whole thing is all about. Right? The greatness of God who favors his humble servant humble servant who is Our Lady. Like Our Lady, God does great things to people who are humble, who are grateful, and who are obedient. Remember those three virtues, very especially. Humble, grateful, obedient. God does great things to those who are humble, grateful, and obedient. God listens to the prayers of those who are humble. Remember that, that story, that parable that Jesus gave about the, uh, the Pharisee and that uh, poor man. The Pharisee was in front of the uh, altar and was saying, I thank you, God, because you made me so good. I am so good. I am so great. You know, uh, I give tithes to, uh, uh, to the poor um, and this and that. And then there was that poor man at the back. Forgive me, Lord, for I am a sinner. No. Keep beating his breast. He could not even uh, see himself fit to go near the altar to pray. Well, guess what? Our Lord listened to the prayer of that poor man and ignored the prayer of the proud Pharisee. And the same thing is true here with Our Lady. She was favored by God, a poor, lowly maiden, from Nazareth was favored with that very great that very great um, mysterious gift of being the mother of God now of course Our Lady has been foretold the, uh, since the beginning of time as we were commenting was it yesterday or the other day when when we said that um, Our Lady's um, motherhood the fact that uh, our Lady would figure in history has been foretold by God right from Genesis when the uh, our first parents Adam and Eve had committed the original sin God had already told Adam and Eve there's going to be a woman down the line and I'm going to put enmity between her seed and your seed talking to the devil right and that was the promise of Our Lady the promise about the virgin who was going to conceive the Son of God 
And this was this virgin. She was this lowly servant. She called herself the lowly servant. But because of her lowliness, God has done great things for her. And because of that, Our Lady predicted all generations will call me blessed. And that's exactly what we call her. That's exactly how we address her. Right? She is the Blessed Virgin Mary. So God does great things to those who are humble, to those who are grateful, to those who recognize that every gift we have comes from God. That this is not a consequence, the gifts we have is not a consequence of our own perfection alone or our own uh, goodness or greatness alone. See? These are all granted by God. So we have to have that disposition of gratitude in the same manner that our Lord, I mean our Lady, was grateful. Was grateful uh, for the graces that God has given her. And God has given her plenty of graces from the time she was uh, conceived. She was conceived immaculate, right? We just, we just uh, celebrated the Feast of the Immaculate Conception on December 8th. Our Lady was conceived immaculate. And from the very beginning, she had all the graces that uh, she could be showered with to prepare for this vocation of being the mother of God. So Mary, Mary uh, was a very important element, was a very important factor in the fulfillment of Christ's promise of redemption. And that is why this Magnificat is where Our Lady precisely proclaims her uh, gratitude to God for allowing her to be part of the redemptive mission that God has planned from the very beginning. So Our Lady is the model for us, the model for obedience, the model for humility, the model for gratitude. So as we prepare, as we prepare for Christmas, we're just a few days away, let us remember the example of Our Lady who gave thanks through the Magnificat, who gave praise to God through her Magnificat uh, for this great gift of Christmas, the great gift of redemption, the promise of redemption that is happening again. We're going to commemorate it again in the next three days. Let us Keep these thoughts in mind as we prepare for Christmas. And hopefully, the Magnificat of Our Lady should carry us through, should give us, put us in the proper frame of mind, the proper disposition, the proper attitude to, uh, to welcome the birth of Christ on Christmas Eve. Okay, that's it for us, folks. We'll try to complete the Simbang Gabi. We got two more nights, two more days, two more mornings. Okay? And we will have completed that novena. So help us uh, by praying for us all, six of my children and my wife and I, to complete it. As we do pray for you also. And uh, hopefully everybody will be very well prepared to welcome Jesus on Christmas Day. Yeah. Have a good day, everybody. And Santa. And Santa. <laughs> have a good day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.